caddy for a handbrake cable, parking brake cable. This is the right stuff for the rear. Uh, rear left, rear right seems to be the same. Um, K13366 from ABS I have here. Just a normal handbrake cable. Hoppa. So we start with taking off and it's yeah, a bit broken but so you open the the cup holder and um, in here you have one vice one screw over here but it's been removed already and then you have those clips uh, yep right over here so go in with your uh, screwdriver and push them up I cannot see it myself, but <laughs> I'll try to show you. Um, yeah, go in, push up, and it should pop out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, it clicked back in. So go in the hole, pop it up. The other one, go in, pop it up, and then it should be free to go, and it isn't. <sighs> Let me use two hands. So, <clears throat> or my good hands, at least. Let's, uh, so. Pop it up and pull it forward. Else it clicks back in. Um, yep, there it is. There it is. Yep, and voila. There we go. That's a bit, a bit difficult with one hand. And then we should be able to get it out like this so it's uh, sitting in there shoved in there like this up and uh, here you have two clips which go in these holes these holes and uh, all you have to do is uh, stick your screwdriver in there and push up and pull a bit forward so it doesn't click back in so, now that's out of the way, we can see the parking uh, brake cables at least, and yep, it's clear that uh, the one on the left isn't cooperating. So, I'll tighten up uh, the handbrake. And ah, tighten up a little bit. All right. Uh, let's see what's the problem. So the right one is still working, and the left one isn't. So let's dive under the car and check it out. So welcome back. And here we are on the left side, and we can all already see some crispy goodness uh, living here. And uh, oh, well, this is a uh, life on the spot, on the scene. <laughs> yeah, so this will not uh, be functional anymore. Yeah, as this is your uh, end of your handbrake uh, cable, parking brake cable. Alrighty, let's. Uh, Get the wheels off and get the new one on, you silly cable. So, take off the old cable. Uh, 
Yep. Pry it loose. Arr! Gloves. Damn it. Take your Arr! pocket screwdriver. What would the world be without a pocket screwdriver? A mean and nasty place. Yep. All right. Yep. And let's uh, undo it further. Just uh, wiggle it, pull it. Uh, and feed the new one in the tube. There's an aluminum tube where uh, the cable goes through. Oh, it's a long one, isn't it? And there we go. And let's get the new cable uh, and feed it back in. No, Steven, it's a handbrake cable. Alrighty. Oh, there we are. And of course, this is the and you need to feed back in the aluminum tube and uh, maybe hold the tube because it's a bit of... no, no it's still uh, still okay alrighty wiggle it back in feed it back in And if you feel you're getting stuck, you're probably hitting the piece of the handbrake, the port of the handbrake in the, in the interior. So, as you can see, I'm starting to have some. Ah, no. Hola. Oh, nice, nice. All right. Let's uh, let's hang it in the hook and leave it here for the time being. Uh, let's connect it first in the interior and then here on the, the clamp. Alrighty. Or we could we could uh, put it in over here and then uh, turn the adjuster uh, back out. But I'm gonna try it. Uh, the opposite way first and see how much room I have uh, left here just back in the car and what do we have here indeed it's our cable there we go so can we stick it in yes we can no oh, apparently just not like a millimeter <laughs> I'm missing a millimeter uh, maybe with two hands <laughs> not even with two hands so take your uh, 10 millimeter uh, wrench this is uh, a nice one Let's put a, a, a clicker uh, it doesn't it doesn't fit never used it before <laughs> always Cool tools that you can never use. So uh, let's turn the adjuster uh, back out, and seems to be a little bit uh, tricky because of uh, this piece right here. Should it be bent like this? Hmm. Good question. I don't think so. I don't think so. Nope. Shouldn't be like this, I think. Although it has to fit between these two. Oh yeah. Else it can't fit, so. Hmm. Nasty, 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 nasty. So, uh.
is because the adjuster is uh, at its maximum, I think. Yep. All right, let me figure it out. Just to hold it like this. Hope you can see it. And put a little bit of foil on it. Ugh. And then you can put the wrench on and turn it back. Let's check it, I only needed a millimeter, so... Oh, come on, just go in. Ah, it's in. Ah, I feel good. Alright, let's check out if you can uh, put the cable back on the, the caliper. Hey. Let's check it out, let's check it out. So we feed the cable through the hole here. Now we shoot here a click. Okay, it's not so obvious, but yeah. No, ah. okay, it will hold, it's okay. Of course, we will uh, put these things back in place. Um, and this rubber thing here should live right over here. If it doesn't go in, put some silicone grease on it. When I'm tired of getting up every time, so. Okay, click it in. Yep. Yep, the ABS cable should be nice and firm on the handbrake cable. And now, how to get this bad boy in here? Well, let's check out how far we can get it back with the water pump pliers maybe we'll have to unpop the ABS cable just for one second wiggle 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 <laughs> and let's check out if we can grab it oh yes Yes, we can. And then the question is, uh, how far can we uh, um, squeeze it? Yeah, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. We might need a second, a second plier, pliers to uh, to get in with. Yeah, it doesn't go far enough, so we need to uh, adjust the parking brake on the uh, interior and uh, then come back. So I just wanted to show you that it doesn't work like this because the cable, the old cable, was stretched and this one was adjusted to the maximum. Uh, so the new cable will probably, if it's a good one at least, uh not fit in the caliper on the caliper immediately without uh turning this bad boy back get yourself a nice and thin 10 millimeter one so uh we can grab the nut as it's a pretty uh difficult one to reach mother um wrench was too thick Yeah, you got it. Just turn it back, and uh, I'll see you under the car. Take your uh, 
good crowbar from uh, BGS. You have a nice set they sell on Amazon, or eBay, one or, or the other. I don't know. And, um, once it's uh, adjusted, I didn't uh, adjust it completely back, but uh, I think it's enough. Let's uh, make sure the cable is retracted. Then hold it, lift it a bit, put your uh, crowbar under the parking brake up cable and up. there you go it just goes in and make sure it's well seated of course the ABS cable goes back in place there we go and let's see how we did on the adjustments maybe it's good who knows of course tighten them down oh, oh, the handbrake is already tightened little bit what to say of course tighten the wheels down to uh, 120 newton meters we'll do that in just one second yeah other ones should break too a little bit yeah all right so uh let's uh, adjust it handbrake is off yeah all right, so pieces fall down. Um, this is looking better, isn't it? This is the correct setting for, for uh, yeah, the piece. It was sitting a bit weird because uh, the cable was broken, obviously. So let's undo it a little bit more. My advice to you would be and do it until it reaches uh, the last uh, three threads, something like that and then tighten it back up that will be easier I think uh, I was thinking to work a little bit quicker but yeah I was thinking wrong obviously In Dutch we have a saying, Hasten spoed is seldom hoed, and that's very true. When you rush, no good, good, no good things are uh, going to come from that. And let's check out the handbrake. Oh, we have a little bit of play, yeah. Maybe we're there. Oh. Wheels are free, more or less, more or less, yep, so uh, I'll show you the good way to uh, tighten your handbrake. Get in the car, stick your foot out and try to push yourself off, it's running free as you can see and then you feel for the brakes uh, it's about three clicks so that's pretty good let's check it again yeah tuck -a -tuck -a -tuck. three clicks that's a fix job well done see you and don't forget 120 newton meter cross pattern always the best and now it's a fix